Welcome to Maine Public News Connect, original news stories from Maine Public Radio, airing weekly in Spanish, French, Portuguese, Somali, and English. Today is Friday, December 2nd. I'm your host, Ari Snyder, and here are the week's top stories. The Afghan community of Maine has elected a growing number of women to leadership roles, a stark contrast to the attack on women's rights led by the Taliban in Afghanistan. Shamail Karger was elected community president earlier this fall. She says she's happy to be working alongside other Afghan women to serve the community. But Karger, who fled Afghanistan three decades ago during the Russian invasion of her country, said it's deeply sad to see a new generation of Afghans forced to flee. Since the end of the American occupation of Afghanistan last year, about 250 Afghan evacuees have been resettled in Maine. In Maine politics, Rachel Talbot Ross is set to make history as the first Black Speaker of the Maine House of Representatives. Talbot Ross is a Democratic state representative from Portland and was nominated by her party to lead the chamber, where Democrats have a majority. Talbot Ross's rise to Speaker comes 50 years after her father, Gerald Talbot, made history when he became the first Black person ever elected to the Maine legislature. Talbot Ross said she was deeply humbled by the nomination and intends to help advance Governor Janet Mills' legislative agenda. The Janet Mills administration says it is close to finishing work on a proposal to help Mainers cover rising energy costs this winter. A spokeswoman for Mills says the goal is to provide financial relief to middle-income and low-income households. Spokeswoman Lindsay Crete didn't share any specifics, but she says Mills plans to speak with Democratic and Republican legislative leaders to get their feedback before releasing a proposal as soon as December. Heating oil was averaging $5.71 per gallon statewide in November, close to the highest it's ever been in Maine. Additionally, the University of Maine recently received a grant to help communities start wood banks, which provide free firewood to help families heat their homes. And a few days after the Thanksgiving holiday, the Azerbaijan community of Maine brought together a diverse group of immigrants to celebrate food, music, and shared culture in North Yarmouth. Tarlan Amadov, who organized the event featuring a well-known jazz musician from Azerbaijan, said he wanted to help new immigrants feel more at home in Maine. Amadov says about 120 people attended two performances he organized, including people from Afghanistan, Ukraine, Azerbaijan, and Albania. Amadov says he's hoping to organize more events to help immigrant communities share culture with each other and learn more about American culture. For Maine Public News Connect, I'm your host, Ari Snyder. Thanks for tuning in. You can watch for free on Facebook, YouTube, or mainepublic.org, and on community access television across the state. If you enjoy the program, feel free to like, comment, and share. You can sign up for direct links to the videos in your preferred language through our newsletter and WhatsApp groups. New episodes and newsletters are available every Friday. We love to hear from you. So as always, feel free to reach out with any thoughts or story ideas. See you next time. Maine Public News Connect partners with wonderful groups across Maine committed to providing access to important news and information for all. We'd especially like to recognize the Maine Immigrants' Rights Coalition, Presente Maine, the Congolese and Angolan Communities of Maine, Amjambo Africa, Catholic Charities of Maine, the Greater Portland Immigrant Welcome Center, Portland Adult Education, the Portland Office of Economic Opportunity, Prosperity Maine, the Maine Health Access Foundation, and the Maine Humanities Council for their support and efforts. Maine Public News Connect has been made possible by individual supporters, businesses, and foundations from across Maine, and especially by Seaport Credit Union, Hannaford Supermarkets, IDEX, Ku and Patricia Ewan, Maine Housing, and the Samuel L. Cohen Foundation. Thank you for your significant support. Maine Public News Connect is made possible by Ku and Patricia Ewan, committed to bridging cultural differences in our communities. Juntos. Ensemble. What a deal. Punto. Seaport Credit Union. Together. At Maine Housing, home is comfort. Home is key. Maine Housing is here to help make homes warmer, safer, and more affordable for Mainers. 
Visit mainhousing.org for a full list of services. Hannaford Supermarkets, celebrating the diversity of its employees, customers, and communities, and committed to fostering a welcoming environment. Together, they're greater than groceries. Learn more at Hannaford.com. If you would like to support this project, please contact Corey Morrissey at 207-232-0241.